Hey guys, quick video on how to avoid OTA updates since the iOS 13.3 jailbreak is about to be released. tvOS profile has expired and it's kind of a hassle trying to block these OTA updates. I heard some rumors that Apple was updating your phone when you charged it in overnight and left it connected to Wi-Fi even if you had automatic updates turned off. Hmm. Upgrades. And the jailbreak for A12 and A13 devices is right around the corner so it's very important that you don't update to iOS 13.3.1. You want to be on iOS 13.3 or below. Preferably iOS 13.3. And as of right now of making this video, today Apple is still signing it. So go ahead and get your device there as soon as possible before the signing window closes. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and head to the App Store Type in DNS Cloak. This is the one right here with this symbol. Go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and go to Safari to this website right here. I will leave it linked down in the description below. Once you're on this website, there should be a little download now button right here that's in gray. If it says wait three, two, one, just wait for the seconds to go by, then go ahead and hit the download, push download. Once that has been pushed, check your downloads. All right, it has been downloaded. Now go ahead over to DNS Cloak. We're gonna open that, push this little menu right here, connect on demand. I prefer to show the VPN icon. Then you're gonna to wanna to click blacklist and whitelist, enable the blacklist. It's going to ask you to pick a file. Go ahead and pick the file that you just downloaded so iOS update blocker. All right, after that has been selected, go ahead and type in cloud. It's going to be Cloudflare, AKA 1.11111. Go ahead and hit that, push use this server, push allow. It's gonna take you over here. Go ahead and type in your device's passcode. It's gonna say starting the DNS service. You see the VPN icon? Once you see the VPN icon, you are good to go. I would make sure to go ahead and enable connect on demand just to make absolutely sure that your device will not download and install the iOS update. As long as this VPN icon is right here in the control center, you are connected and you will not be able to download any updates. So now if I go into general, software update and try to look for the software update it will be unable to load because this vpn blocks apple servers from sending you the ota update so you are going to be safe for now this is the only method that i'm aware of to block ota updates at the moment until there is another beta os tv profile that we can install on our device if you guys have any questions, any concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. If you need any help setting this up, let me know. If this helped you out, please remember to smack that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.